Hello everyone, so I'm back after a while, even though I promised to keep a regular upload schedule. Now I would have maintained that promise if I wouldn't have been struck with the thing currently plaguing the world. But anyway, now I'm mostly back to my full health so I can start working on the channel again. Even though I was on bed rest, I did some work little bit here and there on Bloxy Engine, mostly API changes and performance improvements. First new addition to the API is the Chunk Data Creation Pipeline. So this allows you to add functions to the pipeline which will be invoked one after the other on the chunk data. So this means removing empty chunks and the compression and the decompression itself can become pipeline functions as you can see here. Now this pipeline is fully configurable so you can configure this in the provider as you configure everything else. And this pipeline is invoked whenever the chunk data is being created. Now this API isn't final as there are some performance concerns regarding using impure functions. So I need to refactor it a bit and make it more robust. I also optimized the way compressed data is stored. So now I, you can easily have fast indexed access in compressed state. So there is no need for decompression and recompression of data for mesh building. So this gives a huge performance boost. Also for a long time, I had some threading issues. So basically, if I moved around the world too fast, I would get uh, exceptions like the same chunk is being claimed or reclaimed twice from the pool. So I added this internal chunk state enum, and this is checked at various stages, such as while claiming, reclaiming, or while scheduling the jobs. So this basically gets rid of those synchronization issues, and uh, there are no more exceptions in the world. And finally, I improved the view region update algorithm. So earlier it used to be an n-cube algorithm and I basically used to recompute the whole view region around the player. Now I basically check the difference with the previous stuff and basically I can get the view region in n square. Now the performance benefit won't be visible in small view regions, but bigger view regions like around 20 or higher draw distance, this should be apparent. So this was all the complexity or the performance and the API changes. All of these were performance and API changes. But I also added a new feature that is baked ambient occlusion. Earlier I was using SSA, which is a post-processing effect. But now AO is computed along with mesh generation. So it's faster and view independent. But for computation of AO, the meshing algorithm had to be modified, particularly the access to the neighboring chunks. Earlier, all we needed was access to the six neighboring chunks in the access directions. But for AO, we need access to the corner blocks. Hence, we need access to all 26 chunks around the current chunk. So you can imagine it as being a 3 by 3 by 3 area in a 3D space. So that is 27 chunks. And the center part is the current chunk around which we are doing the generation. So we need access to the all 26 chunks around the current chunk. Finally, I wrote some shaders that use the AO data to well show the AO effect. So it comes in both lit and unlit version. So it took me a while to get these shaders right as I'm pretty new to the shaders. So I asked for help on the Voxel game dev community on Reddit. And special thanks to everyone who reached out and provided great advice especially to Wombat who really explained the issues with my shaders and how I was doing the interpolation wrong. Also thanks to Zero FPS for his great articles which acted as a great learning resource for me. So I just wanted to do some appreciation for the people who have really helped me out throughout this creation of the engine. Looking at the Trello board, most of the performance stuff is done. Just one thing remaining is that I want to make the initial chunk data generation also multi-threaded to improve the startup times. I'll also start working on the documentation website and try to get it out as soon as possible so I can get some review and you guys can also get a feel on how the engine works. One big performance related thing that I've kept it on the side is the jobs and the burst compilation system from Unity. Now, per I have kept this aside purposefully since these APIs are pretty new and Unity is also introducing a new mesh API. Along with it, there is a new mesh building job type. So all of this is pretty new and I don't have, a, like I have had pretty bad experiences with using preview packages from Unity. So that's why I'm waiting a while for these new technologies to be a bit more stable before I start adding them to my engine.
So all I hope is that all this come together in due time for the initial release of the library. On a side note, I have been learning Blender and Godot recently. So I created this gun and I'm also really liking Godot from the experience so far. So you can expect some content related to it. So subscribe for upcoming content, ring the bell for notifications, leave a rating or any suggestions down below and I'll see you next time.